Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, new tutorial on how to make navigation meshes and uh, getting things to move on the navigation mesh. Uh, in this example we're going to be making this kind of RTS style game board but this could be used for pretty much any type of project um, whether it's a house and you want people to walk around in the house or um, you know or if you want to make an RTS style game uh, this is the kind of system you would use for having uh, bots navigate uh, a path and kind of figuring out their own way through the, through the world. So just as an example, uh, here we have just a bunch of you know, flags that are positioned all over the map and we're going to randomly select which position they're going to start from and they're going to move to. So this is what we're going to be doing in this tutorial, uh, but I just wanted to give you an example of what you can expect uh, at the end. Okay, so now if I go ahead and hit the play game, um, when I click, it generates a tank um, at each of the different spawn locations randomly, uh, and it just kind of navigates to another random point on the map, and when it reaches that point, it'll get rid of the tank. Okay, now um, the bots will automatically move to avoid each other, and, you know, we can get some really complicated, uh, you know, pathfinding with this type of a system, and as you can see, it's really quite... Uh, quite powerful and seamless. So uh, all we are giving it is a starting point and an ending point, and it nat naturally figures out the way to that point, okay? And it can figure out how to go up and down hills and all sorts of different stuff. So uh, very powerful and very cool. So that's what we're gonna be learning today, and uh, let's get started. Okay, so assuming that you have downloaded the, uh, the tutorial content and put it on your desktop, as I have done right here, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and come into our Stingray project window and we're going to go add existing and I'm just going to navigate to that folder and I'm going to grab the tutorial navigation AI and go into here and select uh, the .stingray project file and I'm just going to go ahead and hit open and then I'm going to hit open and that'll bring me into that project. Now this project has some of the basics like the board and the tank and the flags, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go File, New Level, and we're gonna go ahead and drag that content in, okay? So let's go to our Models folder and let's grab our game board. And let's go ahead and drag the board onto the screen and set it to 000. zero, zero. And hit return. And now if we zoom away, we should be able to see that our board is uh, is there. And that's pretty much the, the most important part. Now the flags. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be using seven flags. So let's go ahead and grab our flags. And we'll select the flag unit and hit the place button. And now we can just place seven flags anywhere in our scene. Okay, so one, uh, two, Maybe one up on top here, three, maybe one over here, four, five, six, and I don't know, uh, seven. Okay, so now we should have flags, uh, flag zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, but since this one doesn't have a number, it's uh, going to be zero. So that's seven flags, and we can go ahead and uh, move on from here. So now what we need to do is place the bot configuration uh, unit. So how we're going to do that is go create nav, uh, bot configuration and just place it somewhere outside the play area. It doesn't really matter where you place it. It's just important that it's on the board. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing for nav world. Okay. Now these are two necessary components. Uh, one of which is going to be kind of like the link to the nav mesh. And the other one is going to be what is used to um, calculate the paths for the bots. Okay, uh, at a high level, that's really kind of all you need to know. Um, just be aware they're completely necessary. Okay, you have to have these if you're going to be using AI. Uh, so they're just they're necessary evils, if you will. All right. So once they're placed on your board, let's go ahead and save our level. Okay. So let's go file, save level as. And let's navigate to the levels folder. So in case you didn't come to this folder automatically, which mine did, uh, let's go ahead and go content, levels, and then we're going to save it in that levels folder. I'm going to call it RTS1, okay? And go ahead and save it. All right, so that's uh, what we need to do to get started. Um, and now 
we can go ahead and take a look at our flag units. Um, because before we generate the mesh, we need to tell the, uh, the flags not to interrupt the nav mesh, okay? So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna double click on our flags, so, or we can just go right click and then find asset and browser, and then we can double click on the flag unit. Okay, once we have the flag unit selected, um, what we're gonna need to do is add some script data. So over here, we have a little tab called script data, okay? And once we click that, we can go ahead and add a key. So let's add that key now. And this is gonna be a Boolean key. And the Boolean is gonna have a very specific name and it's kind of obscure, but we need to make sure it's named exactly as such. So it's gonna be GW nav gen excluded, gen E-X-C-L-U-D-E-D. -E so it's going to be just like that. So I'm just gonna leave that paused on screen for a moment. G-W-N-A-V-G-E-N-E-X-C-L-U-D-E-D. -E -E and we're gonna make sure that that is set to true, okay? So once we've done that, we can go ahead and save our flag and we can close the unit editor. Okay, so now when we go ahead and create our nav mesh, it's gonna ignore those uh, units, okay? So anything with that tag will be ignored. Anything that you want to just simply be ignored by the bots, um, that's what you have to do, okay? So now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and um, generate our nav mesh, okay? So we're gonna go Window, Navigation, and we can pretty much leave this as default. I happen to know that my tanks are about um, uh, two meters wide, so I'm just gonna put this in as one, so basically the radius is half of the width, so um, we want to make sure that it's, it's half. So if it's two meters wide, we want to make it one meter radius, okay? And that's pretty much all we have to do here, and we're just going to go ahead and go generate nav mesh, okay? And once we do that, we're going to see that we have this really cool nav mesh created, and uh, we're pretty much ready to go. Okay, so that's going to be all we have to do for this part of our tutorial. All right, so next we're gonna be going ahead and um, actually setting up the, the AI for the tank, okay? So I'll see you in the next part.